Hello everyone, my name's Pamela Butchart and I wrote this book and it's called Penelope Snoop, Ace Detective. Ah! Now I am so excited because this book is going to be part of the primary one book bug family bag that every single primary one in Scotland is going to get. Ah! That's so exciting. Yes, you. Yes, you. Now, this is even more exciting for me because my little boy, Albie, hi, Albie, he just started primary one. So that means that he's going to get this book in his bag and so are all of his friends. Hi, Albie. Okay, so I am so excited. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the book. So this is Penelope Snoop. And this is our pet dog, Carlos. And me and Albie named Carlos after our cat. Hands if you've got a cat at home. <gasps> Hands if you've got a dog. Hands if you've got a monkey. If you would love an elephant. Yay! It's really fun to write about your pets and that's what I like to do. And sometimes Albie helps me. So Penelope wakes up one day and <gasps> something has happened. A mystery. Something is missing. Hands up if anything ever goes missing in your house. <gasps> Hands up if you would love to solve a mystery. You'd maybe even use a magnifying glass Ooh, to look for clues. Well, what goes missing in Penelope, Snoop and Carlos's house is Sydney, her favourite toy. And he's not just a toy, he's a smelly sock snake. Ooh, and it's up to Penelope Snoop to find him. <gasps> okay, I'm ready to get started. Are you comfy? Are you comfy? Okay, let's go. Penelope Snoop, ace detective. Oh, <gasps> look for Albie and his cats, Bear and Carlos. Love from mummy. Okay, <sighs> here we go. Penelope Snoop. Oh, <gasps> wait a minute. We can't start. I have a magnifying glass to look for clues. Hmm, but what else do Penelope, Snoop and Carlos have? Hmm, can you see? They have something really big on top of their heads. They've got funny, shout it out, hats, that's right. Oh well, I suppose I'll have to wear my finder outer hat too. Do, 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 do. Pink is my favourite colour, so I'm going to wear a silly pink hat. And maybe if you solve a mystery at your house, you could wear a hat or a special t-shirt too and look for clues. Right. Oh, and if you don't have a pet, you can maybe use, hello, a stuffed animal and Carlos the dog. And you can go and solve mysteries at home. Okay, let's do this. I'm so excited. Right, here we go. <gasps> Penelope Snoop was the best finder outer in the whole wide world. After all, with her trusty dog Carlos, she had cracked the case of the curious croaking, solved the mystery of the missing homework, <gasps> discovered dad's disappearing chocolate. But today she had an even bigger case to solve. Sydney, the smelly sock steak had disappeared. Everyone do a dramatic gasp. <gasps> do it again. Ah, <gasps> excellent. She couldn't find him anywhere. Sydney had definitely been in her bed when she woke up that morning because she remembered wiping dribble off of his face. And he definitely sat on her knee when she ate her breakfast because she remembered dropping some of her egg on his head. Ah! And there was no doubt that he was definitely sitting on the bath stool when she was brushing her teeth because she remembered making funny faces at him. <laughs> Hands up if you make funny faces when you're brushing your teeth. <laughs> Teachers too, put your hand up if you make funny faces when you're brushing your teeth. <laughs> I know you do. <gasps> Sydney wasn't there anymore, he was gone. Oh, where is he gone? Right, so there was no doubt that Sydney, the smelly sock snake, had been stolen. Dramatic gasp. <gasps> oh no, Sydney, the smelly sock snake, the smelly sock snake has been stolen. But but that's Penelope Snoop's favourite toy. What is she going to do? <sighs> Penelope Snoop ran into the kitchen. The fridge was making that weird whirring noise. <gasps> that always meant that there was something seriously suspicious going on. So the ace detective ran to her hiding place and dug out her finder outer kit. Da, 
that's her hat and her magnifying glass and that's how she solves mysteries. Carlos didn't like his hat very much but Penelope Snoop said he had to wear it because this was a serious investigation. Oh, yeah, I think Carlos looks quite good. Da -da -da -da. Right, oh, the case of the stolen sock snake was officially open. Penelope Snoop and Carlos decided that outside would be the best place to explore first. So they jumped onto their super transporter and rode all the way to the back garden. And that's when they found their first clue. Wow. It was a giant muddy footprint. There was no doubt about it. Sydney, the smelly sock snake, had been stolen by a squelchy mud monster. Ah! Can you make a squelchy sound? Can we see your your squelchy mud monster hands and face? Hello, Mr. Frog, said Penelope Snoop. Have you seen a mud monster today? But the frog fountain just stared at them. I don't think it could talk. So Penelope Snoop stared right back at that frog until it decided to be helpful. What's that? You saw something suspicious in the treehouse, she said. Oh, I wonder what it will be. So Penelope Snoop and Carlos swam all the way across the garden and climbed up 100 stairs until they reached the treehouse. We know you're in there, Mr. Mud Monster. We have you trapped and surrounded by sharks. So you better give Sydney back right now. But there was no mud monster inside. <gasps> that mud monster must have kidnapped Sydney and taken him to Mud Monster Moon, cried Penelope Snoop. <gasps> Come on, Carlos. Let's take the super space blaster into space. <laughs> Wow! But the moon was completely empty. <gasps> Where could he be, Carlos? said Penelope Snoop. She took out her super strength telescope and peered back at planet Earth. And that's when she spotted a dark shadow in the kitchen. That mud monster tricked us, said Penelope Snoop. He's been hiding in the kitchen all along. <gasps> Penelope Snoop and Carlos whizzed back to the treehouse, raced down 100 stairs, swam across the grassy sea, jumped on the super transporter and rode all the way home. And that's when Penelope Snoop noticed a trail of muddy footprints that led all the way to... Ah! <gasps> Her mum's wellies! You're not a mud monster, cried Penelope Snoop. Your mum! It was your muddy footprints by the frog fountain. And it was you who stole Sydney. <gasps> I'm sorry, said mum. I just wanted to give him a little wash. He was a bit more whiffy than usual. And then Penelope Snoop noticed. <gasps> the washing machine! Poor Sydney, the smelly sock snake. Oh, <laughs> he was inside the washing machine on a big adventure of his own. Well, that's another mystery solved, Carlos, said Penelope Snoop giving Sydney a big squeeze. Until next time. Wow, that's the end. So Penelope Snoop and Carlos, hello, hello. They managed with their magnifying glass to look for clues and to solve the mystery of the missing smelly, smelly sock snake. I think Penelope Snoop might be back again with another book soon. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope in your classrooms or when you go home you can find some sort of hat or t-shirt or soft toy and maybe even with you can make with pen and paper you can make a magnifying glass and you can solve the mystery of things that go missing in your classroom or at home. Thank you so much. I really hope you love your bag. I can't believe that every single primary one is going to get a book bag. Yay! 
and I really hope that you enjoy Penelope Snoop Ace Detective. Thank you so much for listening to my story. Bye everyone. Bye Albie. Bye.